Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for June 25th, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thought for the day. Belonging. There is no more aloneness with an awful ache so deep in the heart of every alcoholic that nothing before could ever reach it. That ache is gone and never need return again. Now there is a sense of belonging, of wanting and needed and loved. In return for a bottle and a hangover, we have been given the keys of the kingdom. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 312. Thought to consider. If I'm not comfortable within myself, I can't be comfortable with others. Acronyms. Dead. Drinking ends all dreams. Just for today. Plan from the missing link. Following the spiritual path made a major difference in my life. It seemed to fill that lonely hole that I used to fill with alcohol. My self-esteem improved dramatically and I knew happiness and serenity as I had never known it before. I started to see the beauty and usefulness in my own existence and tried to express my gratitude through helping others in whatever ways I could. A confidence and faith entered my life and unraveled a plan for me that was bigger and better than I could ever have imagined. It wasn't easy, and it has never been easy, but it gets so much better. Fourth edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 287 to 288. Daily Reflections, a two-way street. If we ask, God will certainly forgive our derelictions, but in no case does he render us white as snow and keep us that way without our cooperation. That's 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 65. When I prayed, I used to admit a lot of things for which I needed to be forgiven. I thought that if I didn't mention those things to God, he would never know about them. I did not know that if I had just forgiven myself for some of my past deeds, God would also forgive me. I was also taught to prepare for the journey through life, never realising until I came to AA when I honestly became willing to be taught forgiveness and forgiving that life itself is the journey. The journey of life is a very happy one, as long as I am willing to accept change and responsibility. As Bill sees it. Domination and demand. The primary fact that we fail to recognise is our total inability to form a true partnership with another human being. Our egomania digs two disastrous pitfalls. Either we insist upon dominating the people we know, or we depend upon them far too much. If we lean too heavily on people, they will sooner or later fail us, for they are human too, and cannot possibly meet our incessant demands. In this way, our insecurities grow and fester. When we habitually try to manipulate others, our own willful desires, they revolt and resist us heavily. Then we develop hurt feelings, a sense of persecution and a desire to retaliate. My dependency meant demand a demand for the possession and control of people and conditions surrounding me. From A. A. Grapevine, January 1958. Big Book Quote Putting out of our minds the wrongs others had done, we resolutely looked for our own mistakes. Where had we been selfish, dishonest, self-seeking and frightened? Though a situation had not entirely been our fault, we tried to disregard the other person's involvement entirely. Where were we to blame? The inventory was ours, not the other man's. When we saw our faults, we listed them. We placed them before us in black and white. We admitted our wrongs honestly and were willing to set these matters right. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, How It Works, page 67. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. One of the most encouraging facts of life is that your weakness can become your greatest asset. Kites and airplanes rise against the wind. In climbing up a high mountain, we need the stony crags and rough places to aid us in our climb. So your weakness can become an asset if you will face it, examine it and trace it to its origin. Set it in the very centre of your mind. No weakness such as drinking ever turned into an asset until it was first fairly faced. Am I making my weakness my greatest asset? Meditation for the day. Whenever we seek to worship God, we think of the great universe that God rules over of creation, of mighty law and order throughout the universe. Then we feel the awe that precedes worship. I too must feel awe, feel the desire to worship God in wondering amazement. 
My mind is in a box of space and time, and it is so made that I cannot conceive of what is beyond space or time, the limitless and the eternal. But I know there must be something beyond space and time, and that something must be the limitless and eternal power beyond the, behind the universe. I also know that I can experience that power in my life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may accept the limitless and eternal spirit. I pray that I may express itself in my life. Hazeldine Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.